Hey everyone, uh, we're going to do a tank test video today. It's going to be three, one, uh, three jigs, going to be simple, but we're going to do a couple of these to get caught up. Um, the first one that we're going to do is our Ned Crawler. This one I think everybody's going to like. Boy, check the way that trailer is standing up. Art at uh, Three Hands Custom Tackle really outdid himself with these. If I was a fish, I'd eat that. Oh, even, even the glitter content, uh... This is really nice when you have the glitter working off the glitter that's in the silicone skirt. Uh, really nice. But this jig always worked. You know, normally it was tied on uh, the worm nose jig. But this Midwest finesse is really nice. Uh, makes for a good way to, to work with these little micro jig type uh, baits. So there is our Ned Crawler. The next one I wanted you guys to see is our Crawtail Hair Jig, the one that we just did, the Bucktail. This is going to have a different look. And you can see how that orange, how it separates and stays. Uh, we made a little longer, but when we tie it in the way we did, you could see how it, it works in the water, how it uh, affects the profile. It's a little bit different than your basic bucktail. Just a little bit different profile, but I find that this works really well. And the same thing with the, this color pattern, this amber craw. Uh, this has worked every place I've tried it. And most of the time while I'm fishing for smallmouth with this um, type of a hair jig, this one does really well with the large mouth. Drag it along the bottom, swim it, hop it. You could do a lot with this. And you can use different color combinations with this too, like olive and maybe some purple bucktail doing a, uh, the sides like uh, the claws, which I call it. Uh, which it really ain't, but it, it's basically uh, just trying to get a craw type profile. But this literally could, you could do it in bait fish colors, and when you swim it, it does a good job of mimicking a bait fish. Really good one for people to use. Give it a shot. And the last one for today is going to be our 3B Marabou Jig. And once we get it wet, we'll, it'll get moving here. And as you can see, the Marabou doesn't... Um, you don't get uh, a ton of flare. You get a lot of compression, depending on how you tie it. Now, when you layer it like this, uh, it takes a little bit, but it's got it. Once it gets soaked and wet, uh, you basically get the brown, and then when it hits, that's when you start seeing that blue coming out. And just a, a real easy swim is how I normally work this, but you can drag it along the bottom. This is one of those all season. 
Uh, like Just like your all-season tires, same way. This is an all-season hair jig or feather jig, depending on how you look at it. Um, I call marabou jigs hair jigs. But uh, this will work in the summertime. It'll work in the spring, the fall, the winter, from cold water to warm water. And it just a slow retrieve along the bottom or in the middle of the water column. You see it didn't look too good in the beginning there until it gets wet. The marabou has to get soaked and that's when you start getting your action out of it. And it's not, uh, a lot of people think you're going to get a whole um, lot of movement. And it, it's not that you get a lot of movement with marabou. It's the subtle, the, the little subtle movements that you get when it sits. And you see how the, the feathers just sort of slowly unravel, revealing the color underneath. And when you swim it. You literally have to move it to get it to get some action out of it. But the fish love it. Uh, I, I guess it looks like a real easy meal to them. Uh, this color pattern doesn't look like any bait fish that I normally see. But it works. It's fantastic actually. So those are the, uh, are the first three that we're going to do in our tank test. Uh, like I said, we're going to do a couple more of these to get caught up. But there you have it. If you like any of the, the action of these jigs and you want to give them a shot, I'll have links to the videos uh, in the description. There you go. Thanks a lot for watching. Merry Christmas.